Bollywood is changing rapidly and the audience is getting more and more picky about the kind of movies that they want to watch. If the movie has a new and a hatke concept and its execution is just right, the audience run to the theaters. Content truly is the new king of Bollywood. But then there are movies which have a good core concept but fail to execute it properly, either due to production issues, wrong casting or just bad direction. So today we're going to look at top 10 failed movies in Bollywood with a good concept. Number 10, ek ladki ko dekha to aisa laga. This is the most recent movie on this list and although it's not all that bad, it's not what it's supposed to be either. Promoted as the first proper commercial Bollywood movie about the LGBTQ community, this movie should have been a hands down success, especially with such a good star cast, except for Sonam Kapoor of course. But instead of focusing on the real issue of being a lesbian in the Indian community, the movie gives a lot of unnecessary attention to the one-sided love story between Rajkumar Rao and Sonam Kapoor all throughout the first half. Plus we already knew that Sonam played a lesbian in the movie through the promotional campaigns itself. But the movie tried to show as if it's a big reveal just before the interval. Not to mention the whole setting up a play to prove a point felt very childish and almost turned the movie into a gimmick. Again, it was not bad. It's still watchable. But we expected a better film that actually focused on a lesbian love story instead of shying away from its main concept for the whole of the first half. What the fuck kind of a build up was that? Number 9 Jagga Jasus. Another movie which was not completely bad but it left the audience disappointed was Jagga Jasus and it was only because of the high expectations we had from the reunion of Anurag Basu and Ranbir Kapoor after Barfi. Also the trailers looked amazing. The bravery to make a musical for the first time in India however did not go well. The movie suffered from production issues and was released way later than it was supposed to. Also casting Katrina Kaif in a musical where she's supposed to sing seemed very odd. Although Ranbir Kapoor was good as the singing mystery solving genius, he was the only one who looked comfortable singing. The movie also lost its way towards the end of it and it felt like a missed opportunity to bring the musical culture into the Bollywood movies. Number 8 Ravan. We know Ravan was mostly a movie for kids and for a kids movie it had a very good concept. Two characters from the gaming world take a human form and battle it out in the real world. I mean that sounds awesome. And if it were executed properly it would have been a fun movie for both kids and the adults. But the movie was filled with so many unnecessary gags, slapstick comedy, songs that came out of nowhere and dialogues that were just cringe. And although the special effects and the concept felt more like that of a new and a progressive movie, in the end the treatment of the film was nothing more than a movie from the 90s with the same Bollywood trademark cliches turning a good concept into total shit. Number 7 Drona. Another superhero movie that didn't impress anyone was Drona. Drona's trailer and poster showed a larger than life fantasy adventure movie with a good star cast. This superhero movie could have been almost an inspiration to more such movies in Bollywood, but god was it a shitty film. Except for the concept of the magic bracelet that gave Abhishek his powers, everything in this movie was just bad. This is KK Menon's worst acting job ever. Priyanka Chopra was just a fucking prop. The movie genuinely had shitty songs and shitty music, a baseless screenplay, a laughable script and lackluster action scenes. Yes, the VFX and the special effects were good for its time, but the story of the movie was just ignored in this snooze fest. Number 60. A love story between a vertically challenged man and a genius girl suffering from cerebral palsy sounds like something we all want to watch. Add that to the star cast of Shahrukh and Anushka directed by Anand Del Rai and not to mention the brilliant VFX, it sounds like something we all want to watch. But again, having a mere concept is not enough. There has to be a good story surrounding it and Zero fails to deliver it in that sense. The script after the first half just gets fucking lost as the main love story is set aside to show cameos, a weird subplot of an actress and a NASA mission for no particular reason other than they had nothing else to show in the movie. Also, all of this happens with clichés all around the plot as usual. They just ruined a good opportunity and a really good concept. Number 5 Shamitab. Shamitab was such a weird, unique and a hatke concept about a mute guy hiring a drunkard to be his voice in movies. And the casting was on point. With Dhanush as the mute guy and Amitabh as the voice and not to mention the movie was directed by R Balki. All of this combined the movie should have worked, but it didn't. Although it did okay at the box office, the film couldn't make the audience happy simply because the second half of the movie was a complete downer. It was supposed to show this battle of ego between these two people, but it felt forced and lacked emotions. Like we felt nothing for either of them. 
Also, the ending was supposed to be this tragic one where the audience leaves the theater in tears, but instead it was just plain weird because there was no need for it. What a mistreatment of a perfectly good idea. Number 4 Love Story 2050. Saying that Love Story 2050 had a good concept is kind of cheating, but surely it is not as bad as the movie itself. Reincarnation movies have always worked in Bollywood if done right. Karan Arjun se leke Om Shanti Om tak everything worked. Fuck, we're getting reincarnation in Houseful fucking 4 as well. Like how many more Housefuls do we have to suffer through? Coming back to the point, mixing reincarnation with time travel to give us a love story that spans over 50 years isn't that bad of an idea. But god was the execution bad. I swear if 2050 is as bad as it looks in the movie, I don't want to see it. Not the movie the actual 2050. The acting from Harman Bhaveja and Priyanka was just shit. The direction was disastrous. The VFX made me slap my eyes repeatedly and in general a good concept which could have turned out a average if not great movie ended up being a steaming pile of shit. Number 3 8 by 10 the sweet Who else remembers this Akshay Kumar disaster? When the trailer for this movie was out, it got positive response because of Akshay Kumar, Iqbal fame director Nagesh Kukkunur and also the trailer itself that looked so interesting with a supernatural feel to it. The movie shows that Akshay's character has the ability to go into the past with the use of photographs for the duration of 1 minute and he's trying to solve the mystery of who killed his father. This is such a good concept. I mean, adding a twist to the old who done it is a really good idea. But again the execution failed massively. For starters the movie is a big drag. It's boring. There are so many repetitive scenes that just shouldn't be in the movie. The cast except for Akshay Kumar is completely wrong and the movie for us officially has the worst twist ending in any Bollywood movie ever with so 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 many plot holes. Seriously this movie is very very bad despite having a unique concept. Number 2 Alag. Okay let me give you a short synopsis of Alag. This is a movie about a boy who was held captive in the basement by his own father and was only found after the death of his father and people soon realized that he has psychic abilities. I mean this is such a dark concept and actually has the potential to be a good psychological thriller. But guess what Bollywood did with this story? They turned it into a fucking love story as usual. See it's okay if it's a love story but it really wasn't a good love story. Also, it didn't help that all of the actors in this movie sucked. Like you can't even call Diya Mirza and Akshay Kapoor actors. But if the movie itself is badly made, what can we really expect from it? And that's how Alok turned out to be a shit movie despite having an alag concept. Number 1 Sona Spa. The name and the poster of this movie itself was its biggest problem. I mean, it straight up looks like a B grade sex film. And it's probably one of the biggest reasons why a lot of people ignored this movie. But if you go to see the concept was very nice very hatke and very futuristic Sona Spa is a place where you can buy sleep people who don't have time to sleep can pay others to sleep for them and feel rejuvenated like they had a good night's sleep but the downside to all of this sleeping is that the people who sleep for you have access to your dreams It sounds like an amazing plot to work on. But the movie's other biggest problem was that except for the main storyline of the three workers who work at Sona Spa, we see a lot of the subplots we really don't care about. And it turns the movie into a total drag. I mean if the plot were to be worked on with a more compact story around it, it could have been a great watch. But mad props to the concept. If only it were marketed properly, more people would have made their way to see this movie in theaters because it's such an amazing concept. So this was our video about the top 10 flop movies with a really good concept. Thank you so much for supporting us guys. Do let us know in the comments below what are the videos we should make next. Like and share this video and subscribe to Brainwash for more videos like these.